Hello, the cover for one. In today's video, I'm going to show you how can you start to solve logo UI EXE error on Windows 10 on this type. So all you need to do is just to follow this video, subscribe guys to our channel, and let's do it. Okay, so now we have sometimes a simple thing that is right now to find it out. You can start to go to CMD and start to go here and start to write now uh, type SFC space scan now. This is actually the first thing in command. So the second thing which is about that to do it is to go here to Windows Update. So whenever you go to Windows Update, after you finish the CMD, you can start to go and type settings. Now once you type settings right now, you can start to go over here and start to go and click on Update Security. Now once you go to Update Security, you're gonna find out this page by the way. And this will be absolutely the most important part that it should be about to know sometimes updates is not going to be correctly to be about to have an improvement so realize that it should be important okay second third thing is to turn on save mode which is boot save mode go type here run now once you type this one you can start actually to go and type ms config okay so now once you type it's info config you can see right here that I'm gonna start to go and click on OK. So whenever that is being related to what is going on, so that will be actually more important than what I thought about. So my opinion, and this will be actually right now the most important part, which is going on through the boot, and then click on Save Mode or Save Boot, enable it, minimal, and then click on Apply and click on OK. And that is all to know. How you can solve this kind of solution. Also, don't forget to also to know the fast step, which is going to be about to reinstall graphic drivers. Like now, you can start to update it by going through here and start type device manager. Now, once you type device manager, you can go over here and start to go in this part and right click on display adapters or go over here in display adapters, right click, click on update. So sometimes the update not going to be correctly on the side itself but you should start to go for updating it